Go ahead and okay. ask the members to take their seats. Uh, we have one bill. I don't think it'll take us long. Um, it's Senate Bill 263. Well, Senator Wheeler is here. Secretary, call the roll. Okay, uh, let's have the Secretary call the roll, please. Representative Bauman. Present. Representative Blanton. Representative Bowling. Here. Representative Bridges. Representative Burke. Representative Chester Burton. Here. Representative Dossett. Here, he's walking in the door. Representative Dotson. Here. Representative Flannery. Here. Representative Fugate. Yes, ma'am. Representative Gentry. Represent Representative Grossberg. Here. Representative Johnson. Here. Representative McCool. Representative Miles. Here. Representative Smith. Representative Williams. Here. Representative Wesley. Here. Representative White. Here. And Chair Gooch. Here. Okay, Senator, we do have a quorum, uh, which we may not have for long because there are three or four committee meetings. Uh, the floor is yours. I want you to explain as much as you need to to make sure the members know what this bill is all about. But keep in mind that we may not have a quorum very long. Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. I'll be brief, and I want to thank the members of the committee for convening at this late hour to consider this important piece of legislation for a really rural Kentucky. Um, as we've seen over time, there are failing water and wastewater systems throughout rural Kentucky. I'm sure many of you all have seen the stories about, for example, the Martin County Water District and uh, my district. This um, unfortunate uh, circumstance is playing out across the Commonwealth of Kentucky. What we have seen through the investigation of Martin County and other uh, water districts is that as, unfortunately, rural Kentucky gets less populated, it gets more difficult to service larger areas. And sometimes it's not beneficial to service things on a county by county or city by city basis. Sometimes consolidation is the best course of action to get the benefits of economies of scale. I'll give you a quick example. I won't name the cities, but apparently there's three small cities in eastern Kentucky that are right near one another. They each have their own water plant. They each need a new water plant, but all of them don't like how the other city's water plant, plant uh, water tastes. So they don't, they, they could build one to service them all, but you know, mm -hmm. So what this bill does, Senate Bill 263, is it provides some financial incentives for people to essentially do the right thing and adopt best practices by consolidating water districts. Um, motion on the bill. All right. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Uh, are there any questions? Yes. Representative Miles. I just want to make sure, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask a question if that's okay. Sure. Um, I just want to make sure that it does not require them to force anyone to do anything that they don't want to do. It gives them a best practice opportunity, correct? That is exactly right, Representative Miles. It gives people the opportunity to do the right things along with some rewards if they do. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, Clerk, call the roll, please. Representative Bauman? Yes. Representative Blanton? Representative Bowling? Yes. Representative Bridges? Representative Burke? Representative Chester Burton? Yes. Representative Dossett? Yes. Representative Dotson? Yes. Representative Flannery? Yes. Representative Fugate? Yes. Representative Gentry? Representative Grossberg? Yes. Representative Johnson? Yes. Representative McCool? <coughs> Representative Miles? Yes. Representative Smith? Representative Wesley? Yes. Representative White? Yes. Representative Williams? Yes. And Chair Gooch? Yes. Uh, the bill passes, and I want to thank the committee members for uh, being here. And actually, you made history by witnessing the shortest uh, committee meeting that I have ever chaired. So, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members of the committee. Thank you. <laughs>